So hi guys, this is Varsha and you are joining Mastermind. So friends, as you have already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from transpiration from biology and all these questions are important for your ICC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are important for your board examinations. These are the type of questions which are mostly repeated in your board examinations. So let us begin. So the first question is define transpiration. So you have to define transpiration. So it is very easy. The loss of water. The loss of water in the form of vapor, in the form of vapor from the aerial parts of the plant, is known as transpiration. So, this is the definition. The loss of water in the form of water vapor, here should be water, so the loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant is known as transpiration. Now the next question, next question is give the names of the three types of transpiration. So you must be knowing there are three types of transpiration, so the name of the first one is stomatal transpiration, first one is stomatal transpiration. Then we have Cuticular transpiration and the third one is lenticular transpiration. So these are the three types of transpiration. Well now moving on to the next question that is question number three. You have to name the structure on the margins of the leaves that allows guttation and the other name of guttation is exudation. So you have to name the structure on the margins of the leaves that allows guttation. So it is known as hydathodes. The structures are known as hydathodes. So you must keep this thing in mind. Most of the time this question is repeated. It is asked in your MCQ type of questions. That is short questions. Name the following type of questions or the MCQ questions. Now moving on to the next question. That is question number 4. It is again name the following type of question. So the question is the exudation of water droplets on the leaf margins of the plants in warm and humid conditions. So this process is called guttation. Guttation it is the exudation of water droplets on the leaf margins of the plants in warm and humid conditions. So the process is known as guttation and as I've already informed you it is also called exudation. So you can write either or either of this either guttation sorry guttation or exudation. Now moving on to the next question that is question number five and then we also have a picture based question. Here, which is repeated most of the time from this chapter, that is transpiration. So, the name the following type of question is question number five. Name the two methods used for two methods for measuring the rate of transpiration. So, you have to name two methods used for measuring the rate of transpiration. So, one is potometer method. One is potometer method. And the other one you are going to write to us in the comment section and then we are going to come back to you. There are two methods. One I have already said it is photometer method and the other method for measuring the rate of transpiration you are going to write to us in the comment section. Now moving on to the next question that is your diagram based question. So this is the setup of Ganong's photometer and we can see that you can see that there is a reservoir and there is a small twig over here which is cut and it is put over here and this is the capillary tube and this is colored water and this is the setup of a Ganong's photometer which is used for measuring the rate of transpiration and there are some of the questions based on this diagram so the first question is name the apparatus so I have already said it is Ganong's photometer Ganong's is the name Ganong is the name of a scientist so it is Ganong's photometer now the next question on this is which phenomena is demonstrated by this apparatus. So the phenomena that is being demonstrated, it is transpiration, the process of transpiration. So the answer is going to be transpiration. This is transpiration. So friends, question number three is define the phenomena mentioned in two. So mentioned in two, that means the process of transpiration, you have to define it. So we have already defined this in the first question, right in the first question, that is transpiration. It is the loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant. It is known as transpiration. So no need to write it again. And last question, I am not writing it again. And the last question is question number four. State one limitations of using this apparatus. 
So one limitation of Ganong's photometer, you have to keep this thing in mind. One limitation of Ganong's photometer is that the twig, this is the answer of question number four, the twig cannot remain alive for a long time. So this is one limitation, the twig that we have used here, it cannot remain alive for a long time. So this twig, twig that we have used here, it cannot remain alive for a long time because there is no mud and it is surviving only in water. So friends, this was the video and besides this, don't forget to answer question number, I don't remember, yes, question number 5, that is the second second one. One, I have already said, one method for measuring the rate of transpiration, it is photometer method and other method, you are going to write to us in the comment section. So friends, this was the video. Thanks for watching this video. And besides this, if you have any doubts or queries related to your board examinations or regarding any of the answers, so you can write to us in the comment section. Thank you.